Okay. Everybody likes maps, whether it's Barovia, Taldore, or some coast that nobody cares about. Everybody loves maps. Dory is to love you. And you can do so much with maps. There's secret maps, there's secret magical maps, there's secret magical mystical underground third dimension maps, and there's Dungeons and Dragons maps. So we're gonna hop into Photoshop real quick. Uh, we're also gonna talk about different maps that you can uh, even provide to your players, such as like a politically uh, focused map, um, or just a map that looks really, really cool. Also, this is the first video on the channel, so the quality should be top notch. So we got the drawing tablet set up and on the screen we have Angezel, which is a continent wide map of the campaign. Uh, so this would be kind of a political map. It's separated by uh, kind of the nation states that make up uh, the continent. Today, we're going to look at the Republic of Seer and kind of make this local area map with um, a more condensed view between especially Thordris and Adric, as that's where I think the players will be starting. We're going to start off by just ripping this out. Because I just want the general shape here. All right, so blinding light. Uh, we're gonna paste this guy in here. Well, I'm thinking this is a map like the players um, will like find and an NPC made it. We're going to turn the opacity down on this. Cool. So. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of a trimmer in our hand here and just kind of trace the coast. Tyrell is the capital of Seer. Seer is the land of dwarves um, that have migrated here after a bad, bad war in their hometown. Uh, but they like it here, except they don't like the elves to the north. What else is new? All right, so we kind of got the general shape here. So I'm thinking they're going to start on the road between Thordris and Adric. Um, so that's where I kind of want to add maybe uh, starting adventure things like a dungeon, um, maybe an inn on the road. So let's start going in here. So the idea is maybe they come across like a dead ranger and he has this map on him. Or maybe his like dying breath is, take this map friends. That's how he talks when he's on his final breath there. So these are just trails. A fast way to make a forest is to make like a couple of trees like that and just keep on multiplying them. <laughs> Cool, so now where I want to actually add things is maybe in these mountains over here, I can kind of trace over for what I had. Maybe in these mountains, they have maybe a little mine shaft. I'm trying to think if the ranger would like know what this is or just simply put, you know? So I kind of want there to be hills because there's not much going in between trails. I think it's good to have at least like one sort of um, point of interest. No, The players might start in this place called um, Ruben's Roadhouse. So it would be cool if uh, you could also see where the ranger lives. Like maybe they're exploring the forest and they find him dead in the forest, but they now know that his home is up here. And it would be labeled home. Maybe not excited. Okay, so we have an insanely simple map. Uh, we have a forest, we got some hills, uh, we got a couple towns, roads, uh, we got some ranger situation. Make it kind of look like it's uh, drawn by an NPC. Uh, you can get just get some parchment off Google or wherever you can find images. Blow that up a bit. Drag it down. Ooh, these are nice organized layers. Beauty. This looks pretty good. Like I would just print this off, um, maybe stain it with tea instead of doing the parchment thing. That's always fun to do. Uh, shove it in the oven, let it burn. So that's the first video on the channel. Uh, definitely planning to do more, so stick around.